And for me, it's also the first time to organize something in, in this palais. I hope you all found it and go to the Lebenbach House, which is something different. But I think this is a, it's a nice place to, to do a meeting and to do a meeting that's focusing on single cell genomics, but focusing in particular on the computational aspects, or at least in parts on that. So I'm really excited that we're not sitting as so often in, uh, I don't know, some type of Hörsaal in a computer science department, but you know, try to do what the, the biologists know for maybe a longer term, the medical doctors. So this thing is uh, organized in what we call the single cell omics network Germany. Let me give you like, like two slides on that before we start with, with the meeting, just to, um, to explain this thing. Uh, this is a, a, a network, an open thing where essentially everyone, typically from the German-speaking regions, of, uh, uh, can, can become members. This is free. You get basically emails, and our whole idea was we want to disseminate methods. We sort of want to bring together single cell researchers, we want to promote, promote sort of development of single cell technologies, and, and I think that, that that's important. We want to have some exchange on experimental methods, and we have quite a few of those talks today as well. Uh, but in addition also, of course, of computational methods, sort of the downstream analysis that in parts we are, we, we are still, still struggling. And, and we notice that maybe other places were potentially a, a, a tad faster having a, a broad or a sanger around, but we should really uh, uh, gain speed in, in Germany those techniques. And I think we have quite a few interesting people working in that direction. This is uh, funded by, by the German... Uh, uh, Ministry of Science and Education. We have, uh, I think, an awesome steering board with interesting people. So we've had already a, 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 a few, uh, or at least one meeting, I think, in Salon on, on, on epigenomics. 90 PI has taken part of this, more than 200 or sort of 190 scientists uh, already being in, involved in that. And basically, we got money from, 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 from the ministry for organizing such nice meetings in such nice locations. So this cost a bit. Um, before we start, I should announce already get another workshop on that. This will be organized by uh, Nikolaus, Nikolaus Radievsky in, in Berlin uh, about this lifetime project, what you, which you might have heard about already. And knowing Nikolaus, of course, he knows how to make a show. Look at this. So this is apparently, I don't know if it's a single cell or a disco ball or something, but I think it's going to be a fancy meeting for sure. Uh, so think about it. There's uh, abstract deadlines coming up very soon. But about this week's meeting. So we, have, we planned a one-day thing. Start today uh, afternoon, finish uh, tomorrow at, at lunch. Essentially, we want to address computational uh, 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 challenges and sort of advances in, 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 in single cell transcriptomics as well as sort of broader epigenomics. This will be followed up by a tutorial on, on one of those uh, analysis toolboxes, Scamper, that uh, was developed in, 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 in my lab, and a hackathon where we actually have, we'll be discussing uh, methods and, and sort of trying to get PhDs and postdocs to interact on really hands on projects. Very, very excited and interesting. Looking forward to see how this, yeah, I would say, sort of potentially a bit of a better test works out. We did that in the Human Cell Atlas uh, at some point. I know it was a shitload of work, and this sort of outcome was okay. Let's see how, how, how we do this time. Uh, there was a lot of people really applying for that. We, we couldn't fit everyone in, but I, th I think there's a lot of interest in that. I'm really excited for that. We will have a follow-up on that. Um, breaking news, though, I mean, I, I won't be talking at this meeting, but I have one important scientific message to share with you. Because you know, we have this hands-on ScanPy tutorial, we thought finally we should actually come up with a logo for our tool. So this is my major scientific contribution. This is our ScanPy logo. And of course, we had to be extended, so please stay with me. This would still potentially look like a single cell, potentially during transition, but it gets better. This was, I think, I think it was Phil's suggestion, or Alex, right, one of the two of you. This is the final thing. Do you understand what it is? Does someone get the joke? Scan pie scampi. Yeah. It's very sort of, yeah. And, and, and the designer, she said it has, they have some sort of digital extent. Well, I mean, yeah. That's the thing. So that's my, my, my major contribution for today. Um, we have four sessions, eight invited speakers, nine contributed talks, a poster session uh, do, being done tonight where we first kindly ask the presenters for the art posters to stand at the posters. Then we have a dinner in a beautiful location. Check this out. This is where we'll we be eating just downstairs dinner. And then the even posters should be presented. Then we have just an open sort of everyone mixes uh, with everyone. And then you can go to the city and, and sort of continue. We finish with lunch uh, tomorrow. If you, so we, we wanted to sort of have some outreach to that, so there, there's uh, our, our, our hashtag of the week, 
SCOC Munich 2019. Please use that if you want to talk about this. Pre uh, presenters, if you don't want parts to be not tweeted or sort of uh, talked about, tell them. Please don't do it then. <laughs> Uh, this stuff will be videotaped, and we will be putting uh, up those talks uh, on our channel in like, the next uh, few days. Also, again, presenters, if you're not happy with parts or the whole talk being uh, taped, let us know. We will remove that. And uh, yeah, initially we wanted to live stream, but, but, but then with time delays and potentially also a quality of uh, uh, basically possibility for giving you guys a, a wireless uh, made us decide to delay that. So this thing is about analysis. Two more slides and I'm done. So, oh, no, I should really, of course, this is going to be important. We had, this thing costs a bit, so we're very happy to have sponsors, and I should mention the ministry, as well as the DLR organizing at 10X Genomics and CCI, uh, for, great, uh, for, for, which, uh, for, for whose support we're very grateful. We appreciate that. So this is about analysis, right? So I got this fancy cover from recent, uh, I have a two year science magazine. We want to zoom in on ourselves and essentially, right, what's, what's the computation about in this thing? Well, we have, we have a mess and we want to clean it up. What I want to know from you now is, so I want to have this intro, I saw, like two minute audience contribution. So please everyone use your mobile phone or computer. I want, to, and I want to hear what you think are the next challenges before we listen to our expert speakers presenting various ideas. So I have this little experiment, let's hope this works. Please use your phone, go to this, Website that you will see in a second, hopefully. Yes, menti.com, use this code and put in one, two or three keywords that you think will be the next hot thing in single cell analysis or also techniques, whatever, right? Just put them there and let's gather that expertise. Let's see who's first. So last time I did this with, uh, with, with students presenting at a high school, asking about machine learning or something. And then we got something about computers, but then we also got something about gay computers. So <laughs> those high school students, please take this seriously. Maria, don't mess up. Okay, we got spatial single cell. Isn't that nice? So now we can get some overview of it. Let's, let's keep it up a bit. So spatial is gonna be a big thing. Do we have someone talking about spatial transcriptomics? <laughs> It's out there, right? Data integration, patient heterogeneity, very nice. There's still no gay computer, appreciate that. GPU, okay, so there's a computation part. So you guys are awesome. So I haven't had this so fast working, so clearly there's a strong, uh, as an audience of strong computational expertise. So I think I, I, I will leave it at, at that. For me, it's very, so I, I, I totally agree with the data integration part. I think at recent single cell omics meetings, we had a lot of discussion about that. Really like the spatial aspects of it. We, we, we always mention in the human cell labs, we always say this is the next big thing, but then there's actually not so much data yet around to people to really push push methods on, on, on that. But I think we will be talking about KOs in a minute. So thanks so much. Uh, take that, I, I will at some point maybe uh, send it around or tweet it or something like that as well. But yeah, it was, was a fun little experience, I think. It's actually fun watching it as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, deconvolution, nice. Time series as well. Networks. Well, okay, so Christoph, that's at least part for you. So uh, this is uh, our, our meeting, and I think we should start now with the first session, which will be chaired by Peter Kachenko. Thanks, Peter.